Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 555 of Godcraft. We're on the industrial server. Today is going to be a short video showing you some tips with the teleport pad with industrial craft and how to fix one of the most grossest bugs of all time uh, with it. And well, let me show you. So here we go. We've got a, a clean teleporter room. Basically, if you've never set up a teleport, uh, here it is. Teleport. So that's how you create a teleporter. You need a frequency transmitter. And basically with a frequency transmitter, what you do is you right click one transporter pad. Make sure you don't screw up here. Click it once. Put it in your inventory. Don't click on it all again. Then click on another transporter pad. And then store that away. Throw it away something. Just don't right click with that. Because what will end up happening is it will reset the links. But once you, you, you figured that out, maybe try with ones close by and stuff like that. Once you figure that out, then it comes to the gross bug that we've had for a while in SMP. Which seems to work uh, by fixing it really easily with red power. So I'm just going to rip this up and show you some of the guts. Oh, I kind of failed here actually. <laughs> Um, we're using something different this time. Here we go. This will make it work well. Uh, this is a pulse former. And, uh, see how I have it coming in here? So basically I have the button here, and it's going here, and it goes on the side. It usually goes on the side of the wall because that's how it fits in like this. Ugh. Let's get it there. There we go. And it usually goes like this. There we go. And anyways, this pulse former basically gives a very fast pulse. You can't screw it up. If you were to hold down the button, it's not going to give it a non-stop currency to it or nothing. Basically, it's just one jolt, one tick of uh, r redstone energy, and that's it. So what ends up happening is to actually have the bug happen to you. Um, when you click the button and teleport, what happens is it sticks. It literally gets stuck. And... Uh, you'll go into a loop and then you get a speed hack message and etc. So here I'm going to right click it now and boom. So I'm in my new land. This is where I'm going to start a new place. Actually I'm starting a new place for myself but as well as the series I'm going to about to start in the next couple of days uh, will probably be in this direction somewhere. Um, but uh, anyways yeah here we are. So we're in here. Um, the same setup here actually. What is it? go up here to prevent the use. So as you can see, my button is actually frozen here. Look at that, it's being a jackass and it's actually st stuck on there. We go here, see how it's frozen? Yeah, it's screwing me over. Isn't that amazing guys, huh? So I'm gonna have to figure out something to get rid of the, the stuck button function anyways, but uh, maybe I'll do a computer instead or something. But there you go, so now if we go around, Ta-da! That was actually a really awesome thing there. What you just saw was a really good, oops, really good coincidence to show you exactly, oh, now I'm derping up, to show you exactly how the bug happens. So basically all of that happened was this button got jammed on this side and then you would have teleported back to the other place and it happens back and forth. You get a speed hack message because the system doesn't understand what you're doing and you've drained all your power. So this is 10 million, so let's go back. You can go here. This button is fine. So most of the time it's not bad, but sometimes it sticks. We'll click it again. We'll go over here. See, the button did get stuck, stuck again. Uh, as you can see, my teleport only uses about 1,600 uh, or 16, 1.6 million uh, EU of energy. And to give you an idea of how far that is, that's 72, so it's off a bit. So I'll have to figure out something for the button. I like the button, but I may try something else. Maybe there's a way to reset it easily. But anyways, um, yeah, that one get stuck. Just to give you an idea how far the distance is to that plot, is 3,600. So basically 3,600 blocks away that's teleporting and it's only using about 1.6 million EU of energy, which is about correct math. It's 1,000 EU per block. Um, wonderful once you start getting a lot of power. Uh, electri uh, snipers donated one at high voltage. I'm donating another. So these these teleporters are up like nonstop for us. 
Um, as you can see, going back and forth a lot of times uses energy. <laughs> but um, for our personal use, it works really, really good. And uh, yeah, so now we don't have to ever worry about those bugs ever again. And for people who use them, like inside their lot, maybe to get down to the basement, etc., etc., guys, there you go. It was working flawlessly now. Um, so hopefully that helps people who've had problems themselves and uh, hopefully anyone else on an SMP server. As far as I know, single player, you guys don't get the bug, but uh, it doesn't hurt to have it anyways. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.